uh, it's Sav, and today I am going to be doing a New Year's special, and all it is is I'm just going to tell you my New Year's, um, New Year's wishes for you guys, my goals. I don't really have resolutions, just kind of goals, because I have this new planner, which I'm also going to show you guys because it is awesome, and it's not too late to get it. I think, unless you guys are like me and you want to get it before it starts, which I'm like that, but I don't know. So, I'm going to start with my New Year's goals, and it says in the planner right here, this really cute planner, I'll really look up to the page, the future looks so good, it says short-term goal, and it is to do 20 military presses with 10 pound weights and it says how can i make this happen and i can make it happen by every week increasing the reps by five and then eventually once i get to 50 reps on one weight i can move up to another weight so like i'm on eight pounds right now and i do like 20 reps so next week i'll do eight pound 25 and then once i get to eight pound 50 the next week i'll do 10 pound five if that makes sense so, and then it says long-term goal, save $1,000. This has been my goal for so long, and I'm actually finally seeing, like, a lot of progress because I'm doing this, like, um, budget thing. And how can I make this happen? By fulfilling, <clears throat> by fulfilling business orders fast and consistently and continuing with my budget. And then my last one is my biggest dream. And now, I don't expect this to come true in 2022. I just thought my biggest dream... This is my very, very biggest dream. And it is to own my own clothing store. And how can I make this happen? I just, I just, sorry, I got a message. And so, how can I make this happen? I kind of did it into like steps on increasing. So first by creating an Etsy shop and then creating my own website because I'm starting on Instagram right now and then I can go up to an Etsy shop. Then I can go up to a website and then I can go up to a mall store and then my own store. And can, I also, in the process, want to continue to learn to make clothes and create. I'm actually in the process of making my very first pattern in sewing. And we're going to have some fun sewing um, videos coming up. So two different sewing uh, playlists in the new year. I guess I'll tell you about them once I'm done. And then over here it just says my 2022 vision, and I'll read it to you. This year, I want to feel powerful. I'll be shaking with joy if I can start my envelopes for my budget. One good habit I want to install, waking up at 5 a.m. <coughs> One bad habit I want to get rid of, <coughs> constant tablet. I will nourish my mind with learning new things because I got some pretty cool things like this. I'm sure none of you know what this is because it's covered up, obviously. Really? You didn't hear that strum, did you? I don't know. No, you couldn't have. <laughs> and then, I'll nourish my body with trying new things. Because if you didn't know, I probably didn't. Because that's what I do here. But I'm a very, very picky eater. I'm getting like a lot better than, say, at five years old. Because at five years old, I'm so picky that whenever I would go to someone's house and they would make food, I would literally just say i don't want to eat that i want something else and now i don't have the guts to do that because that's embarrassing and i just suck it up and eat whatever it is and i try to get things that i like so that i don't suffer and embarrass myself by sitting being the last one at the table but trying new things and i want to try new recipes because i discovered when i tried pasta um i mean spaghetti i used to like not like spaghetti with the sauce and everything but one I, once I started liking it, it was actually because I helped my mom make it. So I kind of felt like pride, and I was like, hey, I made this. It's going to be good. <laughs> so, and then um, the next one, I will nourish my soul with good music. I love music. <laughs> and 2022 is going to be fabulous. So, after that, I'll show you this really cool planner. And I got to close with this. So, this is the 2022 Blogilates Cassie Ho Fit Planner. And it is so thick. And it is so beautiful. And it is holographic. And I am dead. With the straps, like, can we not even talk about this? Like, oh my gosh. 
I gotta hurry because someone's here. So, five things up. So, right here, five things that bring me joy. Family, sisters, glitter, song, fashion, clothes, movie, game night, music, singing, dance, theater. And I put some of those in the slashes, so that's why there's so much stuff. And then I'm gonna skip the things that deprive me of joy because I want to. And then when I feel like giving up, I need inspiration and organization. When I feel unmotivated to start, I need a plan. When I feel not good enough, I need affirmations. I feel most resilient when I realize I've lost track and want to change that. I feel most driven when I think about what I want in life. I feel most beautiful when I am dressed nice and I feel confident. And then, so basically, yeah, that's it. And then here's the year spread with all the months inspiration. Thing. Um, whoops. And I'm so sorry this is coming out on January 2nd. Really, really sorry. I really wish I could get it out on January 1st. But I don't think that's going to happen because I have to go somewhere right now. So, then over here is um, the monthly thing. So, it's habit tracking. So, this is, like, habits that I want to install. And then over here is, like, my two goals. And then over here is my measurements, which I haven't put yet. And then beautiful artwork every month. Beautiful, beautiful. And then... There's the monthly spread, and then um, the weekly workout calendar and grocery list. I'm not going to be using the grocery list because I go to the shop. Um, sorry, I'm like cutting out my eyes. I'm so bad at filming. What the heck? And then over here is like, I've, these are the pages I've done. I'll show you an empty one. Um, so this is the daily spread. Um, how much water, your mood, hours slept, your meals, and to-do space. And then at the end of the month, there is a monthly recap. Let me see. And then my biggest accomplishment, my, and then all the rest of the stuff. You can read it because I, yeah. Um, and then there's recipes some months. And there's um, challenges other months. And it is really cool. And then at the end, there is a end of the year recap. And there's also like a pocket here. Like what? Okay. Over here, over here. Sauteed cinnamon apples, guys. This is December's recipe. That sounds so good. I'm so bad at filming. So, um, end of year. Um, right here. Pretty cool. And then, yep. And then just a bunch of notes. So, yeah, that's pretty much the planner. Next, the sewing things I was telling you about. So, as you probably saw, um, my new YouTube channel name is called So Savvy, and or So Sav. I think it's So Sav. But that is because I love sewing, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of sewing stuff here. One, I'm going to show you guys how I do some things for my business. Another is I'm going to have a series where some of my friends, when they come over, they come up with a design, and then I have to, like, go shopping and stuff for those supplies and try to make their design. And then another one is my friends try to make their own design with their very limited knowledge of sewing, and I will be watching them and filming it, and it will be, like, really fun. And now, my New Year's wishes for all of you. I really hope you guys have a fantastic year. I hope that everyone finds their confidence and those of you going into junior high or already in junior high or going into another milestone this year, I wish you the best of luck with that because I personally am going into Young Women's, which is the next grade up from primary at my church. Uh, so first there's nursery when you are like, like one to the year you turn, the year you turn four. So, and then once the year you turn four, you go into primary and you start as a sunbeam and then you go all the way up to the year you turn 12. Um, and then the year you turn 12, which is for me right now, the year I'm turning 12, you go into young women's or young men's and there you kind of just do like, um, I don't really know what you do because I haven't really done it yet, but I'm pretty excited, but also like really nervous because there's only going to be me and one other girl going into young women's and everyone else is going to be friends. And then like, oh my gosh. 
So if you're feeling the same nerves as I am, I wish us all best of luck and that we will be confident and that no one will be bullies and that everyone will be kind and kind-hearted and kind-spirited and that you just um, are happy. And I just hope that you um, have a good year with your family and everything and this is kind of cheesy and embarrassing, but I wish you all a happy new year and <sighs> thanks for watching. Also, there's a new intro and here it is. Roll it.